Hey Warriors, it's Hannah here and today I just wanted to announce the giveaway winners of the My Journey apps. So these people are going to get the vouchers completely for free so that they can use the journaling app um, whenever they want without charge. Um, so the winners are Mia Rose, Naomi and Sylvia. So congratulations to these winners. And um, the question that I asked everyone was, what helped you most during your recovery? And I just wanted to read out some of the best responses, in my opinion, that I received on this post, because I think that such things can really help anyone. So yeah, if you don't follow what other people say was their best recovery tip, then it's certainly something that's worth trying. So let's get to those responses. Mia Rose said, I think one of the things that helped me most was calling on friends and family to help take me out of this world of sadness and obsession with diet and exercise, even if only temporarily or as a distraction. In addition to this, listening to such accomplished and positive individuals like you really inspired me to start getting my health back on track. I might not be fully recovered, but thanks to this I have accepted that it's necessary and I strive to get my life back. Thank you for your wonderful content. So thank you so, so much for this comment. I think it's wonderful. I love hearing that I actually make a difference. So um, if you think I do, then leave a comment because I love all of your comments. And I also think it's just a really valuable comment, this one, because it is so, so important to, um, look up to your role models and to accept help from others even though this might seem really scary and really difficult at first. Another comment that I really liked was Naomi's. What helped me the most is actually your channel. You gave me hope that I can really recover. Still fighting with extreme hunger but already gained seven kilos. Still not exercising and feeling lost sometimes. But I did already a pretty good job. Thank you for your videos and keep doing them because you kind of saved and still save me. Um, it's quite obvious why I like this comment because it makes me feel good. But also I think the comment is quite valuable because um, she refers to her own struggles and how she deals with them, namely extreme hunger and exercising. And I think a really big part of recovery is to listen to your extreme hunger and to stop exercising, at least temporarily. And these things can do so much for your mental recovery that I cannot stress them enough. The next comment by Sylvia is one that actually I personally struggle with, not in an eating disorder related way, but just in a perfectionist, workaholic way. And that's not really a good thing either. Um, but for that reason, I think it is a really good comment and something that can really help a lot of people in their recovery. What helped me most was doing the things I enjoy, even if they weren't productive. Just the things that make me happy. From writing songs, to going for coffee and cake with friends, to reading a book or having a bubble bath. Gradually replacing the ed thoughts with positivity. I took a break from putting myself under pressure. Not everything we have to do has to lead somewhere. Being happy in the present should be our first priority. Yes, future goals are great too, but life is too short to spend wishing it away. Also, your videos have inspired me so much and I'm so happy you've reached so many now. So yeah, you don't always have to be productive. Um, for this reason, I myself went to the park yesterday just with a book and I sat there reading in the sun and it was wonderful. I actually didn't feel any pressure and I actually didn't feel like I should have been working. And that for me personally is a really big step. And it's something I'm still working on and I hope you are too. So the last comment I wanted to discuss was Noah's comment. In my recovery, the most help came from seeing others who were recovered and lived a normal life, as well as my best friend who was always there for me. 
A big thing for me was my faith and religion, but also one very important thing. Giving myself permission to recover, to heal and to live a happy life. I'm not at the end of the road, but I'm at a very good point, where I have a support system who is there for me and with whom I can talk and sometimes also just be. That's another thing which helped me. Letting things how they are. Letting me be without wanting to be perfect or whatever. Writing, drawing and music are also something without which I could not have made it. Also, all these videos of people who are recovering or are recovered are so helpful because I can see myself in them and I feel that they understand. There's probably not enough words to describe what is really helping me the most. I feel sometimes it's just a group of different things which play together very well. So I think that one's important because it is important to have role models. It is important to understand that you can become like them as well, which is why I made a guided meditation video just a few weeks ago and it is up on my Patreon, so check that out. Um, in it I do a visualization of the future and it is an exercise that absolutely changed my life. You can access this for just a dollar, so I do highly recommend that one. Another thing that she says is that there's just a lot of different things that help her recover and I think that is key. Know why you want to recover and really think about all the reasons and all the motivations you have because certainly there are more than one and there's more than one reason to get better and to get your life back. So congratulations again to the giveaway winners. You've already been contacted, hopefully already got your vouchers and um, thanks to everyone that commented on the video. Be sure to comment away on this one as well. Be sure to give me a like, a subscribe. Let's get way, way past 5,000 subscribers and I will see you next week.